Why are PLC tags important? Hello, I'm Tom, your virtual instructor. Stay with me until the end of this video, and you will find out what PLC tag is, and why it is important in PLC programming. So, let's check it out. Let's have a look at some memory space with data. Memory space is classified in bytes and each byte is 8 bits long. In order to access specific data in memory, memory shall have the address of every memory location, thus every byte is numerated. There are different memory areas. There is a memory area reserved for inputs, and it is called process image inputs or shorter PII. Also there is a memory area for outputs, called process image outputs or shorter PIQ. Here we noticed that bytes are numerized and, by letter, I, or, Q, it assigns to what memory area is related. Then we have a memory area for auxiliary tags, assigned with the letter, M, also called, Merkers. There is also CPU internal count area and time area, and it is assigned with letter T for timers and C for counters. To access memory location to pick up or to place data, the address of memory location is needed. To explain addressing, we will use an example. Let's have a look at a part of the memory area with some data. As already mentioned, data is organized by bytes. In order to reach this selected binary information, which is one bit long, the address format is M100.3. That means it is addressed digital data at byte 100 and bit 3 of corresponding byte. Letter M represents that it accesses the memory area. To address data one byte length, address format will be MB102, where M represent memory area, B represent that data is one byte long and 102 represent byte number. Similarly to this, can be addressed two bytes long data, also called the word by address format MW102. It is now clear that the letter W represents length of data of two bytes, or word, and number 102 represents start byte. So by this it is accessed to the byte 102 and 103. In the same way it can be addressed as double word or four bytes long data by format MD102 where letter D represents double word. In this case it is addressed to data 4 bytes long starting from byte 102. Now when we understand how memory is organized and how to access the specific location of memory by addressing, we can read content of addressed memory location. By shown example there is accessing to the byte 102 and bit 3 by address format M102.3 and the value of this memory location is zero or logically false. Access to the entire byte MB102, it is read a binary value which is presented in hexadecimal format, and it is 81 hexadecimal, or represented in decimal format, it is 129 decimal number. To address word data, address format is MW102, and memory location of 2 bytes 102 and 103 is taken and concatenated into a word, where byte 103 is less weight than byte 102 in word. Then in hexadecimal representation we get 8175 hexadecimal numbers or in decimal representation it is 33141. What is PLC tag? If you like this video click the like button down below, subscribe and bell. Before we continue, let's recap shortly what we have learned up to now. We have explained how to address memory location, and how to read value from addressed memory location. Beside to this there is another thing that has to be defined for PLC tag. It is data type. By data type is defined how binary representation from memory location will be presented. Also, each PLC tag shall have a defined tag name. Tag name is generated automatically as tag underscore one.
which can be renamed to be more intuitive and easy for use in PLC program. Finally, we can say that the PLC tag is memory space on the CPU where values or data can be saved, and the PLC tag is defined by name, memory area, address, and data type. Already is mentioned that data type has to be defined for each PLC tag, so to understand actually what data type is, we can have a look possible data types. There are bit data types, such as bit, byte, word, double word, etc. And numeric data types such as short integer, integer, double integer, real, etc. Let's have an overview and compare data types through examples. For example, there is binary number 8 bits long, or 1 byte, and we will compare possible data types for this data length. If data type for PLC tag is defined as byte, this binary representation will be shown in hexadecimal format and in this example it is A5 hexadecimal value. Byte data type is able to represent any number starting from 0, 0, to FF. Unsigned short integer data type. 8 bits long binary number represents in decimal format only positive number. Unsigned short integer data type is able to represent any number from 0 to 255. Short integer data type, 8 bits long number represents in decimal format positive and negative numbers as well. First bit represents the sign of the number, 0 means positive number and 1 means negative number. Thus, the range of possible values by this data type is between minus 128 and 127. Similarly, 16 bits long data or one word can be represented as word data type and representation of binary value is in hexadecimal format. With this data type can be represented any number from range 0, 0, 0, 0, and FFFF. Unsigned integer represents a binary number in decimal format and it can be any number between 0 and 65,535. Since integer represents a binary number in decimal format which can be positive and negative as well depending on the first bit value. Integer numbers can be any number between minus 32,768 and 32,767. Integer values usually are used for some counting. Sometimes if we divide two integer numbers, for example 5 divided by 2, as result we get 2 and the rest is 1. In everyday life 5 divided by 2 is equal to 2.5, what cannot be expressed as an integer number. Because of that IEEE has defined floating point numbers. As an example of floating point number value is number minus 1.5625. In memory this number is written as a binary array of 32 bits long. In the 32 bit IEEE format, the first bit is allocated as the sign bit. The next 8 bits are allocated as the exponent field. and the last 23 bits are the fractional parts of the normalized number. If we look at this expression, where n is a floating point number, f is a fractional part in binary notation and e is exponent in bias 127 representation. So if we change values in this expression from our example, we get an exponent equal to 127, then it is 2 to the power of 0, which is equal to 1. Fractional part is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.0625. Since the sign of this number is negative, Finally, we got a number minus 1.5625, which is a floating point number or real number.
Also, there are other data types used for representation of date and time, and data types used for representation characters. That was it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you like this video, click the like button down below, subscribe, and bell. See you next time.